Hi, Mette. Hi, Martin. What's going on? I loaded some e-commerce order data into BigQuery. Now I want to transform that data and create a new table that's optimized for my business intelligence dashboard. Uh, somebody told me you might have pointers for how to do that. Yes, you should check out DBT. It's a third-party tool to transform data by simply writing select statements. It doesn't extract or load data, but it is extremely good at transforming data that's already loaded into your warehouse. Cool, will do. Hi Mette, thanks for your tip about DBT. I found a really nice tutorial on how to transform data within BigQuery. It does pretty much what I need. It joins a customer and an order table into a new dashboard-friendly table. I got it working on my Google Cloud account. Can I show you? Sure, let's see. All right, I'll switch over here to uh, this. I'll uh, go into the Jaffel Shop example that I loaded. I'm running dbt run. Let's see if it runs. So there, it says completed successfully. And if I go over to my project and I go into BigQuery and I go into my customer's data set, here I have a table and a customer table that was created by this job. I click preview and sure enough, there's my denormalized uh, customer data. Good job, Martin. But I have one question. How are you going to run this in the long run? I can imagine typing dbt run every day will get old pretty quickly. Also, you probably want BigQuery to always have the latest data, even when you're out on vacation. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I could trigger the command on a schedule uh, from a cron job on my laptop. Wouldn't your laptop be closed when you're on vacation? Hmm. Uh, maybe I could get a virtual machine uh, to run this in the cloud. You could. But why keep a virtual machine running 24-7 when you only need it for a few seconds per day? And you probably don't want to add server maintenance to your to-do list. Ugh. I hate managing servers. I'm not good at it. Let's go serverless instead. But how would I run a custom command line tool from a serverless product like Cloud Functions? The Cloud Functions runtime doesn't have dbt installed. That's true, but we have other options. In Cloud Run, you can create your own runtime with a container. There's a base container image with dbt. We can start with that. That sounds great. Uh, how do I set that up? Open your Google Cloud project and I'll show you. All right, so I'm here in my project. Cloud Run lets you run containers without having to maintain a server. And you only pay when your code runs. Uh, cool, uh, but I don't know much about containers or Docker. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't even have Docker installed here on my laptop. No worries. We'll build the container using Cloud Build. Your code in Cloud Run is triggered by HTTP requests. In this case, we will run the dbt command in a shell script in response to an HTTP request. Let's find a simple HTTP server that can run shell scripts. Go to Cloud Run tutorial and find the sample for running a shell script in Cloud Run. And copy that code to your machine. OK, so I'm in the quick start for build and deploy on Cloud Run. Scrolling down the page here, I want to run a shell script. Uh, here's a shell script. Oh, okay, it seems like uh, there is a Go program here that can run shell scripts. So I copy that. I paste that into my machine. Uh, okay, I've saved it as invoke.go on my machine. Cool. Then save your dbt command in a script file. Uh, all right, I did that already. I have it script.sh here on my machine. Now let's containerize our code. I sent you a Docker file for the container image. We are relying on a base image that includes the dbt tool. We are also copying the Go HTTP server along with the script file to the container. The entry point to the container is the HTTP server. Let's build the container with Cloud Build. 
I send you the command for doing that. All right. Uh, you sent me, uh, let's see, build container. So I'm running that now. All right. Uh, it finished building the container. Let's deploy the container to Cloud Run. That's the second command I have sent you. All right. I got it. Uh, so deploy container. Very good. I'm running that now. All right. Uh, the script for deploying container uh, finished running. So it says something here, serving traffic 100% at URL. And there's a URL with, uh, with a strange uh, hash code in it. What's this URL? That's the service URL. When you hit that URL, the code you just uploaded runs. Try it. Oh, cool. All right. So I'm going to my browser here, pasting it in and running it. Let's see what happens. Oh, cool. So I see the, uh, the printout that I previously got from my dbt job in my console. I now see that in my web browser. And uh, let's see if I go over to BigQuery and uh, refresh here. I open my customer's uh, data set, click the customer table. And let's see, there is a table there. I click Preview. And sure enough, there's my uh, denormalized uh, customer table, including order dates and everything. Uh, nice. Great. All right. So let me delete this uh, table again uh, to make sure that uh, we can recreate it. Customers, delete. Um, so I moved my dbt job from my laptop to the cloud. I can run the dbt job by hitting a URL. But I still have to manually hit that URL from my browser. Uh, the job won't run by itself when I'm on vacation. That's right, but we can fix that. Cloud Scheduler is a service that can trigger an endpoint on a given schedule. Let's go to the Cloud Scheduler page and create a new job. All right, I'm clicking Cloud Scheduler here. Uh, create new job. And OK, so I have a bunch of fields here. I guess for name, I'll say right like dbt job, perhaps. Frequency, this is something with stars and numbers. What's this about, Mete? So that's uh, the frequency that the class scheduler will, will call your service. Uh, it's in cron format. Uh, so I guess in this case, we want to run it once a day, every day uh, in the afternoon. So we, we will enter something like um, 0, 016. Um, start, ah. start. Very good. I did that. And uh, let's see, time zone. I want it to be in my time zone. I'm in the Pacific, US Pacific Standard Time. Um, oh, and I needed to fix the name here. All right. So, uh, Meta, the next one is target. So I can choose between HTTP, PubSub, and App Engine HTTP. What should I pick here? So in this case, we want to hit a Cloud Run service, which is an HTTP endpoint. So we'll choose HTTP. OK, HTTP it is. And for URL, I guess I should uh, paste in that URL that I hit manually before? Yes, that's the Cloud Run uh, service URL. Excellent. And if I remember correctly, I hit it with a get, not with a post. I'm clicking Create here. And uh, look, uh, there's uh, my new job. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's created, but it's not running yet. Uh, we can actually test it out by just clicking the Run Now button to trigger it manually. Oh, cool. Uh, OK, I'm clicking Run Now. Uh-huh, very good. Something happened. All right, so I'm going into uh, my project here in BigQuery. I see the customer's data set there. and. There's the customer's table that I deleted before. It has been recreated. Let's just have a look at the preview of that table. And yep, there is my denormalized order data. Table is there. Everything is working. But Meta, I'm accessing this from an incognito window. I just hit the URL here, and it just came through. Can anyone access that URL and run my job? That's right. It's a public service right now. But we can make it private, so only authenticated users can access it. Then we can configure Class Scheduler to use a service account to access this private service. I have written a tutorial that explains how to do that. The link is in the description below.
Okay, so let's summarize what we did. Uh, we started with Cloud Scheduler that hit a URL on a schedule that triggered a Cloud Run job. That Cloud Run job ran a script file, a shell script file, which in turn is running a dbt command that updates and uh, transforms the data in my BigQuery data warehouse. Exactly. And the key point is that we run dbt commands without having to maintain servers. And we run it on a schedule so that you don't need to be around to trigger it every day. I like that I don't have to remember to run this every day manually. Now you can go back to the beach without having to think about servers, Martin. <laughs>